In this video, you will learn how to assemble a Lazy Susan cabinet. To assemble this cabinet, you will need the following tools and supplies. A power drill equipped with a Phillips head bit or a Phillips head screwdriver, a dead blow hammer or rubber mallet, and a staple gun. While an air-powered pneumatic staple gun will make the job easier, you can also use an inexpensive manual staple gun. We tested the Aero model T50 heavy duty staple gun with success, and this model can be found for under $20 at most hardware stores. You'll also need the appropriate 3 8 or 10 mm staples for your staple gun, as well as a bottle of wood glue, which will form the primary bond that holds your cabinet together. A pneumatic pin nailer will help you assemble drawers quickly, but it is not required since the drawers can also be fastened together using wood glue. We'll show you both ways of assembling them. If you aren't using a pneumatic nailer, you will need a hammer and some 2D finish nails to attach your cabinet's toe kicks. We'll start by attaching the Lazy Susan assembly to the bottom shelf. Turn the bottom shelf over and notice how the hole lines up with the center of the Lazy Susan. Use a wood screw to attach the two together. Then install the additional screws in the pre-drilled holes. Repeat these procedures for the second Lazy Susan. Next, we'll assemble the pieces that make up the front face of the cabinet. Lay them out as shown. Use the smaller inch and one quarter wood screws contained in your kit to attach the front face pieces together. Apply a bead of wood glue into all of the grooves along the back of the front face pieces. Slide the bottom panel into place along the grooves and then attach two 90 degree assembly brackets to the bottom of the cabinet. This will help to hold everything together while the glue dries. Apply a bead of wood glue into the groove on the side panel of the cabinet and then slide it into place in the groove connecting to the bottom panel and the front face.
Install a top corner bracket to support the side. Make sure the panels line up flush and then staple it together along the seam. Use the longer inch and three quarter wood screws to attach the back panel to the base. Then repeat these steps on the opposite side. Slide the back corner panel into place and make sure it is flush. Once you've got it all lined up, install the 22 and a half degree angle brackets on the inside to secure the cabinet together. The placement of these brackets is not critical as they will be serving to just hold everything together while the wood glue dries. Use the inch and three quarter wood screws to attach the side panel to the support as shown. Next, install the top back corner support piece as shown and secure it using the inch and three quarter wood screws. Now install an additional top corner assembly bracket in the back. And another on the opposite side. Next, install the hinges in the doors. 
drop them into place in the pre-drilled holes, and then secure them with the screws included with them. Line up the hinges with the pre-drilled holes on the frame, and then screw it into place. Install the bumpers on the back side of the door and then insert pegs to support the second shelf of the Lazy Susan. Lower the second Lazy Susan shelf into place and your cabinet is complete. 